From the WYLN studios in Hazleton, Pennsylvania, WYLN Evening Edition at 5.30 starts right now. Good evening. It's Monday, May 25th, 2015, Memorial Day. I'm Ann Gownley. Memorial Day ceremonies and parades took place all across the United States. WYLN begins its coverage this evening in Cunningham. Gabriella Justin has the story. The men and women of our country who fight and pay the ultimate sacrifice for its freedom deserve more than just one day to be honored. One local veteran feels that those who have lost their lives for our country tend to be forgotten too easily. It seems that we're kind of forgetting about them, and I hope that we don't. We, we shouldn't. We don't have to. Mahalchek was a chaplain at today's Memorial Day ceremony. He was pleased with its outcome. It means quite a bit because it's getting better and better every year. And it's good to see that people are getting back the way it used to be. One of our local Naval Air Force veterans, Nicholas Glida, feels that America owes its existence to those who we honor today. Honor the people that sacrificed their lives for us. It, I don't know. I can't, I can't even say it. I wouldn't even know how to even say it even because people don't honor anything today. And I wish they would honor the veterans at least, because this is what, this is why we have a country today. Prepare and of fire. course, today especially, fire. remember that freedom is not free. For WYLN News, I'm Gabriella Justin. The borough of McAdoo celebrated Memorial Day by hosting its annual parade. Our Julie Stefanovich has this story. People line the streets of McAdoo today to show their patriotism. Borough officials, firefighters, and the Hazleton High School area marching band were just some of those who took part in the annual Memorial Day parade. We spoke with high school junior and band member Austin Kulsa. Um, being in the parade, is, to me it means that we're there for the community and the community supports us. So I think it's a very good thing to be able to get out and do the parades and just kind of be there for the community and have their support. It's very enjoyable, you know, it helps get people out in the community and make friends, and it's just a good thing to be in the band. This year's Parade Grand Marshal was VFW 6708 Chaplain Richard Dvorak. It's an honor to respect all our fallen and our live uh, veterans. If it weren't for the veterans, we wouldn't have what we have today. Dvorak also shared a bit of military trivia with us. But back in uh, World War II, there was patriotism all over the place. They used to have banners they used to put in a window with stars on them. And the blue star showed how many people were in the service. And if one was killed, it changed it to a gold star. Hence they got the story that the gold star mothers. Parade goers also had the opportunity to make a donation to the veterans to sell these poppies for our vets. They're buddy poppies since 1922. It's been trademarked and it only can be used by people that actually sell these beautiful little poppies. These poppies were made and assembled by disabled veterans. So when you, when you want to be a buddy to a veteran, you buy a buddy poppy, you wear it proudly. Each and every benefit that each and every one of us has just walking outside of our house, our freedoms to speak, to work, to do, to do whatever we want, whether others like it or not, is because somebody fought for that privilege. A Civil War ceremony also took place today in McAdoo, which recognized the history of veterans in previous wars. And uh, three of us was in during the Korean conflict. Two of my brothers were over in Korea, and uh, I had uncles in the Second World War, and uh, we're just a history of military people. We here at WYLN would like to thank all of those who served our country and participated in today's Memorial Day celebrations. In McAdoo, for WYLN News, I'm Julie Stefanovich. Thank you, Julie. In other news today, a West Hazleton man is behind bars after police found drugs in his vehicle after a traffic stop. According to West Hazleton Police, on Sunday evening around 7 p.m., 23-year-old Christopher Anthony Arzari was, was pulled over for a traffic violation. Police say they developed probable cause to search the vehicle. Police were informed that he was a wanted person. 75 bags of hair 75 bags of heroin labeled Pray for Death were found in his car along with illicit prescription medications. Azari was charged with possession of narcotics and drug paraphernalia. Because of the active detainer from the Luzerne County Adult Probation Office, he was taken to the Luzerne County Prison. 
Tonight, WYLN has a family four-pack of tickets to this year's Pocono Raceway to see NASCAR greats battle it out on the Tricky Triangle on June 7th. The gates open at 8 a.m. and the green flag will wave at 1 p.m. Those who are interested in these tickets, make sure to call right now, 570-459-1869, extension 1172. Leave your name and phone number and you will be entered into our drawing. Again, a family four-pack of tickets for this year's Pocono Raceway on Sunday, June 7th. And for your chance to win, dial now and, of course, good luck. Time now for a first look at our forecast. Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic is in the Weather Center with the details. Joe, a nice weekend for Memorial Day celebrations. What does the rest of the week have in store? Well, we have to deal with some uh, showers and thunderstorms moving into our area, but right now things are fairly quiet across the northeast. You can see uh, no precipitation whatsoever across the uh, state of Pennsylvania. That, of course, is the good news. Temperature-wise, pretty nice for this time of year. 79 in New Angola, 85 in Berwick, 85 in Bloomsburg, 86 degrees in Danville. You walk outside, you feel some of that humidity in the air, and it's even going to be more humid as we head into tomorrow. Watch these numbers go up, and you'll be able to see them get well into the uh, 60s, which means you're going to feel a lot of that humidity in the air walking outside as we head into tomorrow. Well, like I said, we do have a threat of some showers and thunderstorms in our forecast. I'll let you know when they're going to affect us and a complete seven-day forecast coming up in just a few. And Thanks, Joe. Coming up next, a look at more Memorial Day celebrations around our area. Plus, Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic will be back with a full look at our forecast. Stay tuned. More news is headed your way only on WYLN. You're watching WYLN News, Greater Hazleton's only local news broadcast with Ann Gownley, Gary Perna, Julie Stefanovich, Kristen Bozinski, Weather with Joe Garbacic, and Sports with Eric DeBerardinas and Gabriella Justin. most trusted health network. Wilkes-Barre on Tuesday, May 26th. Feel the thrill of WWE SmackDown as Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, and Dolph Ziggler team up to battle WWE World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins, Bray Wyatt, and The Big Show in a six-man tag team match. Plus, don't miss Sheamus Live. It's WWE SmackDown, Tuesday, May 26th. Tickets are available. Can I use this in my kitchen? What's your amperage? Get a multi-tester on your positive lead. If it's wired three-phase sequential and grounded right, it might work. You'll need these for the install. Shocked by customer service these days? Ambridge? Service Electric Cable Vision has the ultimate entertainment experience. Let our friendly team hook you up with a new whole home six-tuner DVR. Record up to six shows at once, then access everything from any TV in your home. Service Electric Cable Vision. It's all about you. Today is Memorial Day, a day to remember those who gave the ultimate sacrifice for our area. Today in West Hazleton, several gathered to remember our fallen heroes. Today, many walk the streets of West Hazleton to remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice so we can have our freedoms. Luzerne County Court of Common Pleas Judge William Amesbury was once again part of today's Memorial Day ceremony in West Hazleton. I absolutely look forward to it absolutely awesome event and it's a beautiful time to bring community together to remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice that America could be the America it is today. Judge Amesbury hopes that everyone involved in today's event and all Americans realize what our soldiers do for our country each and every day. Without today there would be no other holidays and I'm going back in part of my speech and reminiscing to days of Lincoln the Civil War, the Spanish-American War, World War War, World War II, into Iraq, Afghanistan, and even the, what's going on with ISIS. Because in each and every one of those instances, Americans made the ultimate sacrifice 
that sacrificed their very lives so this nation could live. 99-year-old Michael Kelly, a World War II veteran, was this year's Grand Marshal. I feel honored and it's a pleasure. I uh, happen to be wounded by our own uh, men uh, in training to go overseas. And uh, the most, of, most of my career has been in law enforcement. Commander of the VFW Post 8253, Alexander Klabia, was happy to be a part of today's parade to recognize his fellow comrades who have fallen in combat. Memorial Day is probably the biggest American holiday that there is because it commemorates those who have fallen, died for our country, sacrificed, they were deprived. Um, they lie quietly now in their graves under crosses um, in cemeteries in this country and abroad where they died and they fell. They gave up their lives so that we could go on. Our commitment to freedom and a beacon for good in the world. And uh, basically they sacrificed everything for all of us. To all of our veterans and those who still serve our country, thank you for your sacrifices. In Freeland, similar celebrations were underway to honor our fallen heroes on Memorial Day. WYLN's Julie Stefanovich has this story. Hundreds gathered on the streets of Freeland for the annual Memorial Day Parade, led by members of our armed forces, veterans, Cub Scouts, children in the community, the local fire departments, along with several other organizations. All gathered for the same reason, to give thanks to those who have lost their lives fighting for our freedoms. Captain Jeff Broyan, a member of the United States Marine Corps, was this afternoon's guest speaker and spoke with hundreds of those in the community on the importance of Memorial Day and what it means to our country. In March 1961, Freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. I'm proud to say that I come from a town where each generation has made a contribution to freedom and the payment of human sacrifice. From the world wars, Korea, Vietnam, to Iraq and Afghanistan, our town has participated in the defense of freedom. It is because of these sacrifices that we can gather here today to share the freedom that our fallen brothers and sisters in arms who have paid the ultimate sacrifice would want. Captain Broyan's aunt, Eileen Kassinitz, was born and raised in Freeland. She says she has not missed Memorial Day Parade in 52 years. We can't say enough thanks to our military, to our firefighters, to our police officers, the EMTs. Everyone comes together for Memorial Day in Freeland. Today, she and her family are extremely proud of Jeff and all he does for our country. I cried the entire time I was videoing him. We're, so, we're all so very proud of him. Jeff is um, right now in it's still in training. He's still in the military, and uh, it's just something that he loves. It's it's in him. He just wanted to do it all the time, and he is one person. I'm very happy he's out there saving our lives. And just a brief thing. What does Memorial Day mean to you? Memorial Day for me is my father always took me to mass out in the cemetery for the military rites, and I couldn't have had a better morning doing the same thing. In Freeland, for WYLN News, I'm Julie Stefanovich. Coming up next, Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbachik is back with a full look at our forecast, plus a look at this year's St. Jude's Parish International Festival happening this weekend. Stay tuned. More is headed your way only on WYLN. For all your projects, large and small, Bedrock Gardens has it all. They are fully stocked and ready to fill your order. Rubber mulch and rubber curbing to match. Lots of color choices to pick from. Wall stone, natural stone, full pallets ready to go. Their bins are full with rich colored quality mulch that will look wonderful all season long. Finish off your fabulous outdoor space with their quality patio furniture and easy to assemble fire pits. Everything you need for your summer projects. Delivery available or just stop by and they will load you up. Bedrock Gardens, locally owned and operated. Call today. S.J. Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric, Mr. Slim Ductless Heating and Cooling System. Mr. Slim Systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money-saving technology can save you 25 to 50 percent on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialists, call S.J. Kowalski at 570-455-2600. WYLN Weather is sponsored by Coordinated Health. Coordinated Health, we make you better together. I grew up in Pittston. 
I know what it takes to live in a small town. I know a lot of these people and they know me. And that's why I believe everyone should have access to high quality affordable health care. And why I'm pleased to tell you about a new choice, Coordinated Health. I want the very best for my family, friends, and neighbors, and I know Coordinated Health will bring a new level of patient care to the Wyoming Valley. Well, it's very warm outside. Temperatures above where we should be for this time of year and a little bit of that humidity in the air. We got sunshine, we got some clouds, a little bit of a breeze overall. A nice day, a nice Memorial Day, in fact, indeed. All right, on to the map for uh, the day, and you can clearly see that we don't have to worry about any precipitation across our area. Any of the precipitation is out there in northwestern Pennsylvania, but for our area, we're going to continue to stay on a dry side as we head through the rest of this evening. 77 degrees are live Lehigh tire conditions outside our television station in Hazleton. Pressure on the high side, 30.18 inches of mercury. You see those winds coming in and averaging anywhere between five to as much as 10 miles per hour. Our coordinated health almanac page for the day, 83 and 61, the split in temperatures, averages are 72 and 50, 91 and 30, the records still stand, uh, 538, 824, sunrise and sunset for the daytime hours of tomorrow. Boy, these temperatures, pretty nice. Well above average, 87 Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport, 81 now in Mount Pocono, 86 in Seals Grove, 83 in Harrisburg, 80 degrees in Johnstown, up in the Wyoming Valley area from Nanticoke through Wilkes-Barre, Kingston and Lehman, temperatures holding in the 80s to near 90 degrees. Satellite and radar precipitation going around us, up toward the north, northwestern PA out toward the west, but for our area, just a few clouds here and there, but other than that, things looking pretty nice. We stay on the mild side even as we head through tonight, only dropping down into the 60s. Tomorrow, pretty nice looking day, 70s to near 80 degrees, and even going into our Wednesday morning, notice how mild these temperatures will continue to be. So as we go into tomorrow though, a possibility of a you know, the shower or thunderstorm or two, especially as we progress through the afternoon and evening hours. And then as we go into our Wednesday, uh, another better chance of seeing some showers and thunderstorms as the front starts to move through. But before that, we're going to continue to be on the very warm and humid side of things. Here's a look at the extended forecast and what we can expect over the next uh, couple of days. We got about 80 degrees for tomorrow, some more showers and thunderstorms going into our Wednesday, and then uh, maybe a few more as we start going into uh, the rest of the week. But overall, things shaping up to be pretty nice. Here's a look at our daytime Pennsylvania lottery numbers, the pick 2, 2, 8, the pick 3, 6, 3, 8, and the pick 4, 1, 8, 0, 5. We'll continue to have more for you coming up after these commercial messages. For over 25 years, Whitetail Preserve Shooting Range, 118 Boulevard Road, Bloomsburg, has provided professionally designed skeet, trap, and sporting clay fields. All stations are handicapped accessible with resident NRA certified shooting instructors on site. There are packages available to fit anyone's budget, restaurant and catering on site. Our facility is also available for weddings, business meetings, bachelor and private parties. Call 570-384-2314. Penn State is right here in the Hazleton area. We're top ranked by corporate recruiters. We have four year degrees, so you can finish here or at another Penn State campus. There's new scholarship money available. And there's no application fee when you visit here. Penn State Hazleton. Download your application fee waiver at psu.edu slash visit Hazleton. It always feels good to pull my own part. Saves a lot of money too. I've never actually pulled it before, but I think it's time. It's environmentally conscious, and it can be a lot of fun. If you're a do-it-yourselfer who's up for an adventure, then come out to Harry's You Pull It. Pull your own quality recycled auto parts for up to 90% off the cost of buying new. Savings like that will keep more money in the bank, which could lead to even greater fun. Harry's You Pull It. We got used.com. 
Welcome back. I am once again joined by Father Joe Avango of the St. Jude's Parish in Mountaintop. Father, this weekend, is a big weekend for the parish. It is the International Fest, and this is now you said the third. You've been doing this for three years now. Yes. Tell us a little about uh, the festival itself. Well, if you're not familiar with St. Jude's, we are one of the blessed parishes. We have a permanent grove, and so we have a big picnic in August, which pretty much everybody knows about. It's going on 50 years, but we wanted to do something in the beginning of the summer to use the facilities that we have. And so we started this international fest that has been growing with every year. And the, the concept is, is that it's different than a regular church picnic. We do different countries and they're uh, actually meals, Italian meals, Irish meals, not just regular bizarre food. And we have specialty beers, international beers and, and specialty wines. So it's a whole different concept, uh, but we still get to use the grove that is so important to us as a parish. And it's been successful. It's been growing every year. Uh, and this year it's May 30th and 31st. Uh, so we invite everybody to come out. What have you found different about doing some kind of an international event with all different types of food rather than um, a typical bazaar food? Well, I, I think everybody knows what the typical bazaar is. And just to offer them something different has stirred up many more people. It's also, we have found one of the great thing is the local restaurants and businesses they really contribute a lot. They provide a lot of the meals and the food, and so we've gotten more people involved, and it's obviously been good for them and their businesses and all. And so I think that's also, it's a good sense of cultural diversity, uh, since we continue to change and our area changes that way. It allows us to remember some of the past cultural diversity and the present cultural diversity, and, and people come and try different things. And, and you can get a passport, where you can go and get a sample of everything before you decide exactly what you want to eat, so. Now, besides the food, of course, there'll be entertainment. Tell us a little bit about the entertainment. There'll be entertainment. Uh, we will have live entertainment in the evenings as uh, different bands. But probably the biggest part of entertainment is we have a lot of the the dancers, the, the youth dancers, and those groups, uh, and the different uh, entertainment that youth are involved in in the parish. And that brings the parents and the grandparents out. And it it's always makes a great thing to use the stage for that. Uh, so there will be all kinds of uh, entertainment with dance groups uh, uh, and local groups like that, as well as the regular band entertainment in the evening. And there's also a chance uh, there's contests there as well. There's contests. We always have a big raffle this year. Uh, the, there's a dream uh, vacation, which is an option of several different places the summer can go. Like last year, they chose a trip to Italy, and um, actually uh, they're kind of talking a lot about it, and that's a helpful thing to us. We also have a very unique prize this year, a uh, eye laser surgery was donated to us that we're raffling off and it's amazing the interest uh, in that uh, as well um, so and then there's a beach house rental for a week uh, so it's really good the other thing is that we also invite people to bring a, a canned food uh, because we did that last year. We collected over 3,000 pounds of non-perishable food that uh, we work with CEO and Catholic Social Services uh, to pass out. Uh, we have a truck right in, in the front lawn there that people come and just drop it off when they come. So it also adds that pastoral outreach. And last week we spoke about uh, the new church that's being built and the campaign. Does this money also help with that and help with the current church? Yes. Yeah, so over the last several years, thank God, our goal has been we haven't needed the International Fest or the Picnic or other fundraisers to be used for operating expenses. So whenever something is not used for operating expenses, the goal is it goes right to the building fund. And we've been able to do that with the last several International Fests, and, and it looks like we'll to do that again. So really the profits will go directly to the building fund. All right. So once again, the date and times and where is it located? It, May 30th and 31st and it's 4 to 11 on Saturday May 30th and the 31st it's from noon to 9 and it's at the St. Jude's Grove which is right behind the church on 309 in Mountaintop. All right well thank you and of course good luck with the festival. Thank you. All right you heard it here this weekend St. Jude's Parish International Fest in Mountaintop. Stay tuned Joe Garbacic has a full look at our forecast coming up. At Cuck's Turkey Farm, we are family owned and operated for over 45 years and we consistently strive to produce premium poultry. We offer the finest all natural country poultry, antibiotic free, all vegetarian fed with superior white meat yield and exceptional flavor. So we invite you to experience the unique natural taste of our poultry for your enjoyment and your health. Give us a call or stop in today. On election night, after the numbers were in, the WILN election panel was the first to call the winners. 
And WILN was the first television station in the area to speak with Republican and Democratic Hazleton mayoral candidates Jeff Cassatt and Jack Mundy moments after they won the primary election. This November 3rd, you'll know who to turn to for all your election night coverage. WILN, we're your local network. Hazleton area in the Quad A championship game for the third straight year, aiming to defend their baseball title against Wyoming Valley West. The Cougars hoping the third game this season against the Spartans proves to be the charm. Valley West puts up two in the first inning off of Joey Barron at PNC Field and lead 3-1 in the top of the six. The Cougars cleanup hitter Robbie John, bouncer to third, Logan Savada fails to field it cleanly and a base runner for Hazleton. But Bill Gregory, masterful on the mound all day, gets the Spartans out of it. We move to the bottom of the six. Tyler Jankowski loops it to right, aiming for a bit more cushion to the lead. And Dante Biasi, who was great in relief, suffering through some leg cramps. Here, Justin Montalvo gets a hold of it, sending Jeremy Budgen back and back far enough to push the runner across home on the sacrifice. So, trailing 4-1 to one with one out left in their season. Seth Porpiglia is drilled in the leg by Gregory. So, some hope. The next batter, David Klein, ropes it past the diving Mark Popson, and all of a sudden, the game's tying run steps into the batter's box for the Cougars, but Gregory induces yet another fly ball from Joey Barron, and Wyoming Valley West becomes the District 2 slash 4 sub-regional quad A baseball champions and earn a spot in the state tournament. Tonight, the Warriors go for a sweep of the Houston Rockets in the NBA Western Conference Finals. The Blackhawks and Ducks look to go ahead 3-2 in the NHL's Western Conference Finals. The Mets top the Phillies today 6-3. And the Yankees crush the Royals 14-1 in some Memorial Day baseball action. Those are your sports. We will be right back. During these changing times, is your insurance program up to date? I'm local Allstate agent Gary McNeilis. I invite you to come into our office or give us a call. We'll help you be sure that you have the proper coverage to take care of all your family's needs at a price you can afford. Now more than ever, you need to be in good hands to protect everything that's important to you. Our team of insurance professionals and I will be honored to serve you. Are you in good hands? Tune in every Sunday night on WYLN from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. for hard-hitting, high-flying, non-stop action as only Pennsylvania Premier Wrestling High Voltage can bring you. That's Pennsylvania Premier Wrestling every Sunday night on WYLN. I'll see you in the ring. Overall, things are looking pretty good for the rest of this evening. Nothing to show you live, 35 Skycast Doppler. Just some activity as you head toward northwestern PA, but that pretty much is about it. Temperature-wise, pretty nice, well above where we should be for this time of year. Almost 90 it is still at the Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport, 81 in Mount Pocono, 86 in Allentown, 82 in State College. Some showers and thunderstorms coming into our area as we go into our Tuesday and Wednesday. But we're going to stay on the very warm side of things, at least for now. Humidity levels will be on the increase as we head into tomorrow. And there you can see those numbers for yourself. And then generally remaining in the 70s for the rest of the week and early next week. Well, I am certainly glad that rain held out uh, for all of the uh, Memorial Day celebrations today. Yeah, definitely no complaints. Yeah, but one thing is we're going to look at some big games coming up that rain. Yeah, Hazleton baseball, unfortunately, wasn't able to win today, but a lot of uh, softball, North Schuylkill baseball and softball competing for district titles tomorrow. All right, well, we'll see what happens. Hopefully that rain stays away. Have a good night, everyone.